हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक न्यू बॉडी और कर्नल बॉडी इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी आइडेंटिफाइड द न्यू बॉडी और कर्नल बॉडी डेफिनेशन नाउ वी विल इंप्लीमेंट द न्यू बॉडी वी ऑल नो इफ वी वांट टू इंप्लीमेंट ए बॉडी इट कैन बी क्लासिक और इट कैन बी न्यू वी हैव टू गो टू एस 19 transaction code so sc19 is the transaction code for body implementations when we implemented classic body we choose this radio button now we want to implement new body so we will choose this radio button now the first major difference you can itself see in case of classic body when you implemented you directly gave the name of the body definition but here you cannot give directly give the name of body definition you have to give the name of the enhancement spot and it will show you all the body definitions once the topic will proceed then you have to choose whatever you want to implement but the most important point whenever we will implement new body we cannot directly give the name of the body we have to give the container of the body we have to give the enhancement spot which is a container for the new bodies or kernel bodies so firstly we will check in sc18 what is the container for the body which we identified i will choose the radio button body name i will go to f4 help information system kernel bodies i will pass the package so this is the body which we identified in the previous video for this body this is the enhancement spot as of now both name are same so it will not be create any confusion but just remember we have so many bodies definition where enhancement spot and by definition name are different so you always always has to give the name of the enhancement spot whenever you want to implement new body or kernel body so if i will show you the enhancement spot i will choose the radio button enhancement spot if i will display in this enhancement spot we have this particular body definition which we want to implement so i will pass the name of enhancement spot i will click on to create button now next important point when you implemented the classic body you directly gave the name of body implementation after that but here you cannot give directly give the name of body implementation firstly we have to give the name of enhancement implementation now what is enhancement implementation it is container for body implementations this compare it to enhancement spot enhancement spot is a container for the body definitions and and by enhancement implementation is a container for the body implementations anyways in the future we have the topic full comparison of classic body and new body so this is the second major difference between a classic body and new body whenever you implemented classic body you are not giving anything like enhancement implementation you directly gave the name of body implementation but whenever you want to implement kernel body or new body you have to give the name of enhancement implementation which is a container for the body implementations suppose i will give the name of enhancement implementation so i will give enhancement implementation we are suppressing or we are hiding some buttons into mm01 so i will write hiding buttons in mm01 now i will give the short description 
to hide the buttons of mm01 i will go for okay rather than button i will use the word function functionalities because those are functionalities i will use the word func to hide the functionalities of mm01 i will go for okay i will save this as a local object now you can find it similar to classic body we have body implementation we have implementing class now we will give the body implementation name which will store into enhancement implementation because enhancement implementation is a container now we will give the name of body implementation z body implementation hide functionalities of mm01 now i will choose the respective body for which body definition we are creating body implementation now you can understand the topic fully we gave the name of enhancement spot in that enhancement spot this by definition is available if you will see sc18 if i will show you sc18 in this enhancement spot we have only one by definition available so that's why only one is appearing in the projects whenever you will implement you will find so many bodies in one enhancement spot at that time you have to choose the respective body whatever the body you want to implement i will choose now next important difference between the classic body and the new body in case of classic body when you implemented name of the class automatically appear just recall in case of classic body the name of the class automatically appear but here we have to give the name of the class and this is another difference between a new body and kernel body between a new body and classic body sorry this is another difference between new body and classic body we will give the name to the class suppose i am saying zcl hide functionalities of mm01 hide functionalities of mm01 so for this body definition we are creating this body implementation and this body implementation will store into which container enhancement implementation i will go for okay i will save this as a local object i'll just wait for it to save and you will get more more clarity so this is our enhancement implementation which is a container for this body implementation if i will double click on the class now i will double click on the class you can see in the class all interface methods are coming automatically if i will show you interface tab you can see the interface automatically came and how the methods are appearing we all know the interface methods are appearing into class like interface name tilde operator method name interface name tilde operator method name now we want to write the logic into which particular method we want to write the logic into this particular method because this is for our integrated object now we will only write the logic into this method but do not forgot to implement all the methods because we all know whenever the interface methods we are using in the class we need to implement all the methods we will not write the logic in each and every method we will write the logic only into this method but we need to implement all the method this is what the prerequisites is whenever you are using interface into a class 
you need to implement all the methods but we will write the logic only only into this method so i'll simply double click okay i'll go to change mode i'll just double click otherwise you will get a conflict error i'll just double click i'll just double click on to each and every method so that it will be, become implemented we will not write any code because we do not want to go for any functionalities. So I'll just implement all the methods. I'll just double click and code window will open. And logic will be only only into one method. And this is the mistake which many people are doing. They will not implement all the methods then at the last they will get conflict error that these methods have not implemented do not write the logic we are not here to write the logic in each and every method we'll write the logic into specific method but just implement those methods i will go for activation yes we will activate everything so it is activating so many methods now we will activate our enhancement implementation and you can see enhancement implementation is active okay i'll just show you again this is the enhancement implementation we will just go for change mode we'll see it is active or not after creation you can see here it is active it is active. If your any method has not implemented, it will become into inactive state. It will remain inactive. So never forgot to activate that. We never forgot to implement all the methods. So this is the class. In this class method, in this class, we need to write the logic. We need to write the logic into this method. Now we will not blindly write the logic. We will see first how to how to write the logic. We will check in the debugging mode how to write the logic. And then we will just proceed and write the logic based upon that. That part we will continue in the next video. Thank you.